Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Smokies at Home logo, Smokies is spelled with three E's for explore, entertain, and escape. The National Park Service Arrowhead logo. A young man stands next to a tree in a forest. He extends a microphone towards lichen on a tree and a blue animated tardigrade appears. Tardigrades are microscopic organisms with eight legs, claws, and a mouth. Hi, my name is Philip Ash and I'm with Astral Greenworks. Today I'm in Great Smoky Mountains National Park interviewing a special guest named Moss Piglet the Tardigrade. What's so special about these creatures is that they have amazing abilities and they can survive in places that humans can't. So let's zoom in on our special guest. So Moss Piglet, what else do they like to call you? They call us water bears, pygmy rhinoceroses, and moss piglets, obviously where I got my cool name. And about how many species of water bears are there? Over 1,000. And do all you guys look the same? Nope. Though there are some big categories we fall into. U tardigrades and heterotardigrades are two of them. Heterotardigrades have awesome body armor with usually four single claws on each leg and have cephalic appendages. While you tardigrades like me, who are armless with bumps that make us look squishy, have paired claws on each of our eight legs. Do all water bears live in habitats like this? You mean like this lichen? No, actually we don't. I have friends that live in the water of flowering plants, mosses, forest litter, soil, and even in the sediment floors of freshwater ponds or salty oceans. And we're not the only microscopic organisms in these neighborhoods. Other organisms like rotifers, mites, and nematodes live in our microecosystems too. Oh look, there's my friend Steve the nematode. What's up, Steve? That reminds me, I need to catch up with Steve and tell him about my trip to outer space. Wait, 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 wait. You went to outer space? Yeah, that Armstrong guy's got nothing on me. I went up there without a spacesuit. Wait, tell me exactly how you did this again. Well, before I went, I had to enter into my ton phase, which is a type of cryptobiosis. That's just a fancy word for a state of extreme inactivity that helps keep us safe from unawesome environmental conditions. My scientist friends removed all the water around me, so I pulled in my legs and secreted a cuticle around my dehydrated body. Then my metabolism slowed down so much it was barely detectable. I can't do much else till I rehydrate, but I'm pretty much indestructible in my ton phase. It helped me survive the lack of oxygen in space, being boiled, being frozen, and thrown in acid. Plus a lot of other cool experiments too. Wait, so you've been to outer space, you've been boiled and frozen. Are you Superman? Nope, I'm Super Water Bear. A tardigrade with red cape, blue shirt, and yellow W on its chest flies across a starry sky. Or you could just call me an extremophile. Extremophiles? Care to elaborate on that? Well, an extremophile is a microorganism that lives in conditions of extreme temperatures, acidity, alkalinity, or chemical concentration. Extremophiles like me can survive in extreme conditions like volcanoes, anaerobic geothermal mud, acidic sulfur, and lots more. But I'm glad I found this great lichen here in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Though you could probably find some of my cousins on similar lichens in your backyard. Oh, there's one thing I forgot. Being an extremophile means we also have some extreme dance moves. Moss Piglet, I would love to see you dance. Oh, hold on, buddy. You're about to see some moves. Cartoon and live tardigrades dance to the music while Philip joins in. And they can survive anything. Can survive anything. Any, any, anything. From off screen, the microphone is thrown and a breathless Philip catches it. <sighs> wow, it was an amazing dance party. Thank you so much, Moss Piglet, for telling me all about that water bear life. Again, my name is Philip Ash, and I'm with Astral Greenworks. Thank you to the Smokies for allowing me to conduct this interview. And I'm passing it back to my ranger friends at Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Hi, I'm Ranger Susan Sachs, and today I'm not in Great Smoky Mountains National Park, but I'm here at Warren Wilson College, where we're gonna be doing a quick interview with Dr. Paul Bartles, who looks at the amazing world of tardigrades. Microscopic clips of active tardigrades displayed on a monitor in a science lab. Ranger Susan approaches a laboratory door holding a brown paper bag. Hi, Dr. Bartle. Hey there. Hey, how are you? Good. 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 Good.
I have brought you some lichens from the Smoky. Awesome. So, Dr. Bartle, what got you interested in looking um, into microscopic life? Uh, that's a good question. I. Um, it, it turns out there's more life that's microscopic than is macroscopic. And there's more diversity in soil than there is on the soil. I was always just, even as a college student, I was just really amazed at tardigrades. They're, they're microscopic and yet they're complex with all kinds of really cool features and this amazing cryptobiotic uh, capability. And so I always just thought they were an amazing animal, um, but I never got to study them. I didn't really start studying them until the um, all taxa biodiversity inventory started in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I thought it would be really fun for us to um, get the students involved in the ATBI, the all taxa biodiversity inventory. And so I met with park personnel and I was wanting to study tardigrades, but I also wanted to be a good team player. So I was saying, you know, I, 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 I'm interested in studying any um, invertebrates. I'd really kind of like to study something microscopic and and before I could even say it, Keith Langdon said, "Have you thought about tardigrades?" Yay. <laughs> because there's because there's a um, there was a retired biologist at East Tennessee State University who had studied them, and she was willing to be the taxonomic expert if we did the field work, and that ended up becoming a great partnership that continues to this very day. Okay. So, how many uh, new species to science have you found in Great Smoky Mountains National Park? You know. Uh, Kind of lost track. <laughs> Some things have changed recently, and a new species was just described from one that we didn't think was new. I think the number is now 16, around 16 species new to science. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for your time and for showing us your lab and your amazing microscopes and your fantastic collection of tardigrades. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. I always like to show off my tardigrades. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Smokies at Home logo. Smokies is spelled with three E's for explore, entertain, and escape. A partnership of the National Park Service, the Friends of the Smokies, Great Smoky Mountains Association, Discover Life in America, and the Great Smoky Mountains Institute at Tremont. Smokies.org is spelled with three E's. Music by Bill Mize. Special thanks to Dr. Paul Bartles, Warren Wilson College. Photos and videos by Dr. Paul Bartles, Warren Wilson College. Database Center for Life Science, Modified Color and Transparency. Ricardo Cordoso Neves, Lykey KB Vidipel, Thomas L. Sorensen Heigum, Robin M. Stewart, and Naja Mobjerg. Modified Crop to Show Organism in Tun Bays. Bob Goldstein and Vicki Madden, UNC Chapel Hill. Modified by adding drawing and background. Frank Fox, Joffrey Landis, Daniel Kraft, Averiter, Shokre E, Warnkin U, Holtz Wagenblatt A, Grom M A, Henger S E T A L, altered to use only photos. Mario Do, Mario Roberto Duran Ortiz, Chris seventy three. Actors: Philip Ash, Natrafia Miller, Susan Sachs, Moss Piglet. Videography, animation, and edit by Liam Campbell. Bloopers. Philip holds the microphone to a tree. Three. A tardigrade Three. appears to wave. Hi. Moss Piglet, back to you. Dr. Bartles struggles with the lab door. And I should have wrote that card down. Come to the microscope lab. Philip doesn't catch the microphone thrown by Natrafia. <laughs> I finally got the dance and now I can't throw it. Super water bear flies by a starry background. Have fun exploring. <laughs>